Hey lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my summer makeup routine like in detail. I know I created a shoulder on this but it wasn't very detailed so that's what we're going to be doing today. I have all my makeup products right here and my skincare prep and all that stuff. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms and let's get right into the video. Okay, so first things first, the first step is skin prep. I have a few products down here to do that with. But first, we're going to take this MetaHeal Blemish Toner Pads. And I'm going to take one of those and go over my face. I already washed my face and everything like that. So we're basically just taking one and just going around and it brings back a lot of color to my face because the face wash that I use is very drying. Even though it's a toner, it's just not going to dry you out like that. Now we are going to move on to moisturizer. I recently just got this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. They said it's really good and it's really good for um, dry skin and my skin has been really dry. I don't know why. Even though it's the summer, it's still been very dry. So yeah, I recently just got this thing like two days ago and it did really moisturize my skin. So I put some on my cheek area and then not too much, but enough so we can be very moisturized. And some on my chin. Like just like that and then I'm going to rub it in and it feels really nice going on it feels like jelly basically and it gives you a really good glow it kind of rem reminds me of glow recipes niacinamide like the glow that that product gives you this one gives you the same glow as that one okay now that we are all blended in I just take the e extra and just rub it into my hands the last two products I'm going to use is this Madagascar Centella Reflect Sunscreen. Basically, it is a SPF. Especially here in Texas, it's super hot and we recently just had a storm. So if you know anything after storms, like it gets super hot again, it's very good to have sunscreen on to protect your face. The last thing we're going to do is put on the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I, this is probably my favorite primer. It just feels so nice on the skin and it doesn't like leave any residue or anything on your skin. So I just take like like two little fingers worth right there and I rub it in my hands and then I rub it all over my face especially in the places where I know my makeup can be like creasy sometimes so like under my eye and right here okay so that is it for prep as you can see my skin is glowing yes and it feels like very nice so <clears throat> I have all my makeup here I'm gonna pour it out because it's in my makeup bag and I can't get to everything in here so this is also going to be a no foundation look because for me during the summer I don't like to wear foundation just because I feel like my face is kind of heavy and this also isn't my shade anymore this is my winter shade. First thing we're going to do is this Pro Conceal by LA Girl. Oh it's like an orange color corrector basically. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to put it around the places where I know needs color correcting. If you see me looking down over here or down in front of me I have a mirror so yeah. She's my favorite notification. She knows how to dress for special occasions. Okay, now that I've used the color corrector, I'm just putting it basically where I know my face is a little darker than usual. We're gonna blend that out with this beauty blender. Okay, so now we have little, like, I know it's a little orange tint a little bit around my face, but that is perfectly fine because once you put the concealer on, it'll go away. The next concealer that I'm using is the 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer by MAC. I'm just going to place this concealer basically everywhere where I place the color corrector. And for the summer, I don't wear a lot of concealer just because I feel like I don't need a lot of concealer. I don't want my makeup, like, super, super heavy unless I'm, like, going, like, somewhere, like, fancy or something. But other than that, I don't like my makeup super heavy in general i think i can count on one finger how many times i've worn like foundation i mean not one finger on one hand how many times i've worn foundation just because i really don't wear it a lot and then i'm just gonna add a little bit here on the side of my cheekbone now that we have done that and we're not gonna blend it in or touch it just yet we're just gonna let it sit for a second but now that we have done that we're gonna take the Too faced the chocolate contour if you guys know i don't know the exact name but i'll put it on the screen of course we're going to put this all over our face it's not like a lot i use a little bit of this as well just right where my face like naturally contours that's where i like to put it and on the bottom for a jawline a little bit under here and then i also do at the top up here 
and that's really everywhere i added just on my cheeks my jawline my chin a little bit and then at the top of my forehead okay now what we're going to do since, since we let the concealer sit for like a minute we're going to take this instapop face brush it's by rt i forgot what the brand is but I'll, again i'll put it on the screen we're gonna take this brush and I use this brush for foundation concealer to blend it in. And we're just going to blend in. And we're going to go around the whole face and just blend in the concealer that we just placed. Not the contour, but the concealer. And I always take any excess and just like swipe it over my eyelid. Just a little bit, not a lot. Just so it doesn't look like I don't have anything in my eyelid. And then the last place, we're just going to go and blend out my cheek area. And I feel like this shade of contour is like the perfect shade. It blends in very well. We're going to take a lighter shade of concealer that, again, is my winter shade. But we're going to use it for my under eye just a little bit. It is the Juvia's Place um, Concealer Shade 15. I think that's what it's called. If it's not, it'll be different on the screen. But yeah, I'm going to take this and I like to rub off like the excess on the top of the tube because i don't need a lot of this to make my eyes a little lighter so i just do one singular dot that's literally all i do because it is summer and i don't want to be looking like a white cast is on my face and for this one we're going to take the real techniques uh, that's what it's called <laughs> real techniques buffing brush and we're just going to under this this one i didn't let sit because i don't want it to sit for too long we're just going to blend it out here as soon as you put it on your face and sorry if these are not the right brushes to be using for like this step but this is these are the brushes that i use this is just how i like to do it okay guys so as you can see already my under eyes are a little lighter and that's exactly what we want we don't want it too light but we want it light enough that same brush the real techniques insta face pop brush and we're just going to blend out the concealer now on my forehead as well as my cheek and my jawbone And recently on the last like makeup short that I did when I was doing like a summer look, I did like freckles and they were so cute. So for this one, we're going to do freckles again. And for the freckles, I did use my Juvia's Place like lip liner. Now, basically we have completed our base and I really like it. It feels really light on your face. It doesn't feel like very cakey or like if you sweat, it's going to all like slip off. Now that we are done with those few steps, we can move that stuff aside and we're going to be taking our... NARS Laguna 06 shade, the bronzing shade. It just looks like this. I'm taking the same brush, the buffing brush that I have right here. And we're going to dip that in there and then take off some of the excess on the top. And we're just going to go in circles on our forehead and bring a little color back. Not a lot. You don't have to use a lot of this. Just bring a little color back to the places that look a little light because in the summer you want to be a little tan and glowing basically. That's all I do for bronzer really. But now we're we're going to do is i forgot to do it i was supposed to add these things first but we can add them now it's not that big of a deal i'm going to take this clear brow gel by anastasia i think i believe and i'm just going to brush it through my brows i don't put pencil on my brows just because i feel like i don't need to okay that is one brow done we're going to do the same thing to the other brow and I feel like a good brow gel is just really all you need in the summer. And the next thing we're going to do is put on some Aquaphor. I was supposed to do this in the beginning, but I forgot. That way, when we get ready to do our lip, it won't be dry because my lips tend to get dry. I will do a little eyeshadow. I'm not going to do like anything crazy. I'm just going to take this Ultimate Vintage Jean Baby NYX Professional Makeup. I'm just going to take this brown shade right here and I'm just going to go over my eyelid with that. I'm just going to take my eyeshadow brush that I have right here. I'm not gonna add too much. I really only wear brown eyeshadow anyway, unless my outfit like calls for something different. And it just brings a little color back to my eyelids. And that is it basically for the eye makeup now we are going to move on to mascara all i'm going to do is curl my eyelashes and then i have the Too faced better than six mascara you 
We're gonna go on like the tips of my eyelash first and then we're gonna do the root. I only apply mascara to the top part of my eyelashes, not bottom eyelashes, just because my bottom eyelashes are like, super tiny and I would be like here for days putting mascara on them. I'm going to now move on to the blush. I have this blush is really old, honestly. I don't know where it's from because the back is all messed up. But honestly, you can just really get any type of blush you want. And it's just a bright pink blush. What I do is take the Morphe M527 brush and it's just this big fluffy brush. And I put some product on there and then take off a little bit. And I'm just place it on the apples of my cheeks. <laughs> And that is it for the blush. I don't know if you guys can see it very well on camera, but once I spray the setting spray, you'll be able to see it a lot better. And now the last thing that we're gonna move on to is the lip area. Right now, I'm just gonna take off the aquaphor so I can actually use my lip liner. And I won't be using any powder or anything just because I want it to look glowy, as glowy as possible, because it is the summer. But after we do our lips, then we'll do the little freckles and we'll basically be done with this makeup look. So I'm going to take the NYX Professional Makeup Matte Lip Liner in the shade Club Hopper, I think. Just turn it like to an angle. And I like this shade because it isn't like super dark brown. It's brown enough. So now my lips are lined. Today, I think I'm going to use the Ink Velvet 15 in Piri Pura. And this is how I apply mine. I just do dots along the bottom and the top of my lip because this is so strong. I don't want to add so much to where it like overtakes the entire part of my lip. And I just take my pinky and I just blend it in on the inside part of my lip. Just like that and you want to do it to where it doesn't dry because it dries super fast so you want to do it as soon as you put it on your lips next we are going to get my ulta beauty clear lip gloss it's not clear anymore and it's almost gone but we're just gonna put that on top and then we're gonna take the it's the korean like lip tint brand and in the shade bear grape i'm just gonna put a little bit on the inside this feels like cooling on your lips and for the last lip product we're gonna take the fenty beauty and hot cherry and we're gonna to put it on the insides of my lips as well. Baby, it's hard to believe it. I know that you can't even see it. Girl, you're the best, and you know that I mean it. Just to give it like a sheer pink, like a little pink tint to it. So that is it for the lip. The very, very last thing we're gonna do is add these freckles so i'm just gonna take the juvia's place luxe liner take about like this much out and we're just gonna dot it on my cheek area and it's okay if you do it a little hard because we're going to like blend it out with our fingers anyway just have them spread out and that way it kind of looks natural okay now i know it looks crazy right now but we're going to blend it out and then we're just going to take it on our nose area for here i want to be a little lighter just because it shows up a lot more on the nose and i are probably like oh my gosh she just ruined her makeup but no it's okay we close this and take our finger and we're just going to dot it out once you dot it out with your finger it really like blends into your skin Just where anywhere where you see like very harsh circles, just like that. And I did lie, there is one more step. I forgot about it. We're gonna do highlighter. I cannot like have a makeup look without highlighter. So we're going to take the True Complexion Contour Light to Medium Skin Tone. It literally has three shades. It has the contour, sculpt, and highlight. So I'm just gonna take the highlight right here. I'm just gonna go on the bridge of my nose and the insides of my eyes basically. Now, I just take my finger just because when I do it with the brush, it's not as pigmented. So I just rub my pinky in there as well. And then we're gonna take this big brush and we're just going to put some highlighter on that and we're just going to do my cheek area just so it's subtle it's not super heavy okay love it so the last thing that we're gonna do is just just spray the airbrush flawless setting spray by oh charlotte tilbury sorry <laughs> yeah we're just gonna spray this on my face and then we're gonna let it dry for a second and then i'll show you guys the final look okay 
Okay, love you. So this is the final look. You can see like the freckles and everything and the eyeshadow and how everything just came together. But yeah, this is the final look and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys do try this and you take like pictures, please tag me in it on Instagram so I can see and it would be so cute to see you guys try this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!